Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the Nestle Pod Kit by Rinko. This is an 850 milliamp hour internal battery pod device and it does hold two mils of e-liquid. It does come with this nice little hole that you can actually hang a lanyard through it as well and it's got type c charging so let's go ahead and go down i'm going to show you everything that comes in the box we're going to put it back together come back up vape it and pros and cons so let's go look at the nesso pod kit by rinko okay so here we are with the nesso plus pod kit by rinko this is the color that i have been given their social media information is on the side on the back you're going to get some kit contents and then inside the box you're going to get quality certificate pass your warranty card and then you're going to get a user manual. Now, this does have some warnings on the front. It says that it's a mouth-to-lung pod device, and they recommend Nick Salt. I'm not a Nick Salt person. I don't usually recommend Nick Salt. You can actually get higher milligram freebase e-liquid that's got like a 50-50 VGPG, which is good. Paradigm Distro has it. There's some online as well. Um, I would recommend that before Salt Nick personally. Um, here are your specifications for the device. Okay. And then inside, you're going to get a lanyard. This lanyard, I really like it because it's nice, it's thin, it's not too flashy, and really nice to hook on. You're going to get two pods. Both of them have the same coil in it, which is a 1.4 ohm mouth-to-lung coil. You're going to get a Type-C charging cable and then you're going to get your battery part of the device now this right here does have an 850 milliamp hour internal battery it does have a space right here for you to hang it off of the lanyard it is it is kind of beefy it does not feel like plastic at all it doesn't feel gimmicky or plasticky at all it's got a really really nice feeling inside are going to be your connectors and right in the middle i'm not sure if you can see that that's actually for auto draw so this device does do auto draw or manual fire Right here is going to be your viewing window. And then on this side, it doesn't say anything. On this side, it doesn't say anything. But on the bottom, it does say Miso Plus or Nesso Plus. And it's designed by Rinko. And there is your charging port. It does come with two pods. Both pods do have the same coil in it. It's a 1.4 ohm resistance coil. Now with these pods, these do not have... Re, um, do not have... Ex do not have coils that you can actually take out and put in, so you cannot replace the coils. Once these pods are done, they're actually done. Now, nowhere on the pod itself does it give the actual information regarding the coil that is installed, but it is in the paperwork. There is a min line. You always want to make sure no matter what type of coil that you're using or device that you're using that you never go past the cotton because if you go under the cotton, it's not going to be able to saturate the cotton and it will give you a dry hit. So it does have a nice min line for you. This is the mouthpiece. It's pretty standard, um, just a slit for a mouthpiece. And then of course it does fit and of course it does fit into the cartridge just one way, just like that. So when you see the little um, the little curvature, that's actually for this right here and it fits just like that. Now this does have an LED light and it's got a fire button or an on and off button. So if you click the button five times, one, two, three, four, five, it'll actually turn the device on. You're gonna see it blink. Now when you fire the device, it's actually gonna show a color. It'll be either green, blue, or red. If it's green, it's greater than 60% charged. If it's blue, it's between 30 to 60%. And if it's under 30, it'll be red. So you'll know how to, you'll know that you need to charge it. Now, again, this does have a fire button, so you can fire it to um, vape it. And you can hear it there. Or it's an auto draw, so you have both options. Also, there is a nice viewing window. You can see clearly through it since it is clear. So I do like that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the Nesso Plus Pod Kit. Let's go ahead and go on top. We're going to take a vape. We're going to talk about it pros and cons. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Nesso Pod Kit by Rinko. Let's go ahead and have a vape and then we're going to talk more about it. That's the auto draw, and now I'm going to go ahead and press the fire. Now let's go ahead and go over my pros on this, and then we'll go into cons. My pro is going to be the size. I really, really like the size, and I like the feel of it. It feels very substantial. This is actually made out of zinc alloy and IML. I'm not sure what IML is, but I'm guessing it's a, a type of plastic. It sounds plasticky, but it's very, very substantial in the hand. It's got a really nice weight to it. And it comes with a lanyard. And this is one of those better lanyards. I don't like them when they're too thick. This is a really, really nice type of lanyard because it's not too conspicuous. 
Um, and it's not going to be too flashy. So I really like it for this. And I love the way that you actually hook it on, which is very easy. You just put this right here through the hole. And then you're just going to stick the whole piece of this right here through the hole there. It's like, it couldn't be any simpler. Um, you can even do this without even looking at it, basically. <laughs> really, really simple, easy to use, and it fits just like that. And it's really, really nice. It's not anything too flashy, like I said. Now, this does hold two mils of e-liquid, which is a great amount of e-liquid for a pod style like this. It really is. And I like their clear viewing window. That's definitely a plus. 850 milliamp hour battery, I think, is going to be the biggest um, pro to this device because that's a really long lasting battery, especially with something this small. Um, this small and it's more like a loose mouth to lung sort of restrictive direct lung. So for that, this is going to last you quite a long time because it does have the 850 milliamp hour battery. Now it does have okay flavor. Is it the best flavor? No, it is an okay flavor. It's not one that I would rank up there with like a mesh coil or anything like that. I don't know what the material is that they're using for the um, for the pods, but it's not the best flavor. Is it handy to have with you? Does it work the way it's supposed to? Yes. Is it, I've actually taken it with me and it's actually saved the day because I forgot everything else. I just ran out the door, ran to the store real quick. And I only, I still had this on and I was like, okay, well, at least I have this. So it does do the, do, do what you need it to do. If somebody is transitioning from smoking to vaping, I would definitely try to recommend something like this because of the fact that they can keep it with them at all times, getting them away from the stinkies and into vaping, it can be used that way. Now, um, that's for, and I like the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is super, super comfortable. And another pro is gonna be the fact that it's either auto draw or you can push to fire. Now push to fire, I do like push to fire, but this is like a really, really tiny button. So for me, I actually find myself just auto drawing this rather than push to fire. But with the push to fire, I feel like it does give it a little bit more of, of a push, to be honest with you. Now onto my cons. The first and main con for me is gonna be the fact that you cannot replace the coils. Most devices nowadays that are a pod style device, you can replace the coils. The airflow isn't all that and you know, the other things that it can they can do, but being able to change a coil is definitely, definitely a huge con for me. Right now, um, most pods, you can actually change out the coil instead of having to dispose of the pod and purchase new pods. That's my biggest, biggest con to this. My second con is that it only has okay flavor. It doesn't have the greatest flavor, but it has okay flavor. I really wish that maybe they would have used mesh or something like that to actually boost the flavor a little bit more. The third con that I have, and it is my final con, is the fact that the USB port is on the bottom. I say this about any device that has a USB port on the bottom. It's not a make or break because most people will take out the pod and then go ahead and lay it down but it is something that I want to mention because it's not something that I like. So I want to mention my preferred and my preferred is not to have that charging port on the bottom. Other than that, again, 850 milliamp hour battery, I think is superb on this. It holds two mils of e-liquid and it will last you pretty much all day. So if you're new to vaping or you know somebody that is, you're trying to transition, this might be okay for them. They might like it. Um, just the feel of it, the fact that it's got a lanyard, which you can or cannot use it, you don't have to use it. And it, it's got pretty good flavor. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. There are five colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the colors up here for you. And let me know down in the bottom, what do you think about this? I love the size of it. I really love the feel of it. And I love the fact of 850 milliamp hours. The only cons that I have are the ones that I already mentioned. But let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you in the next one.